So, it's been a long time since I enjoyed a video game about as much as I enjoy this one. Terminator Resistance is, without hyperbole, the best thing to come out of the Terminator universe since Judgment Day. Now, I know me saying that a lot of people are going to be up in arms, but let me be real clear. Let me be real honest. Terminator Resistance is better than every multi-million dollar movie that they have made after Judgment Day. It is better than Terminator 3. It is better than Terminator Salvation. It is damn sure better than Terminator Genesis. It is the best thing to come out of Terminator in a long, long time. I've enjoyed this game thoroughly. I played this back when it was on the PS4, and I believe I purchased it for the Xbox One, but I haven't like played through it that that on that console yet to get the, the achievements. I should. I probably will. But I'm telling you right now, this little... I know it's a budget game, because, you know, it's it's got its hiccups here and there. It's not some sort of amazing looking thing and it's you know it's got characters that never fucking blink when they're talking to you during cutscenes but when it comes to the sound design the gameplay the characterization all of it this game is good and i just wanted to take an opportunity to talk about it real quick because it's so good i really hope that those of you who have yet to play it will play it because I gotta be honest, man. Replaying this, like I only have, oh, I only have two games right now on my PS5. One of them is Demon Souls, which I will talk about, believe me. And if any of you watched that stream, I was supposed to have audio and I didn't. I don't know what I screwed up, but then again, it's a new console. I'm gonna screw up stuff. But <laughs> I only have Demon Souls, and I had this game. And I played through it, and I'd beaten it once again, at least the main campaign. I have two trophies left for a new mode that was incorporated, but I just, I really, really, really love this game. And I can't recommend it enough. If any of you haven't played it, I'll go ahead and give you an idea of what the game's about. You play as Jacob Rivers, a member of the Resistance at the end of the war in the future. You, of course, will go through many scenarios and fight many machines trying to stop Skynet. You will, of course, encounter a lot of different characters. You'll even encounter the, the man himself, John Connor. And you will do everything you can to stop Skynet from basically winning this war in the future. It has great characters, it has great gameplay, and it has massive robots to fight which I really don't want to waste my time with this one, but it is so good. It is so much fun. You will play through the game. You will level up as you go. You will be engaging in different activities from lock picking to hacking. You will scavenge for supplies. You will get better weapons. You will uh, accumulate skill points and place them into different sections to make your character stronger in different ways. It is just so much damn fun playing this game. I love the universe, the dystopian future that we have never really gotten to see done justice in film form. Like, I know what Terminator Salvation is, and when I say that it did not seem dystopian enough, it really didn't. I'm talking the glimpses of the future that we got in the original Terminator and in Judgment Day. This game, in my mind, really does service to how completely fucked humanity is. And it's good. Hot damn is it good. But like, I just, I just can't get over how good it is. See, it's a little budget, because that, that right there in my video it's saying how good it is, there's, you know, floating geometry. But you know what? I don't fucking care. Because it's a lot of fun shooting metalheads. It's fantastic. But yeah, as you, as you progress through the story, you're going to encounter different things. For instance, you'll probably wonder why the hell an infiltrator unit, aka the Terminator itself, is chasing you. You'll also be, you know, protected throughout the game by a mysterious stranger. And I don't want to give away any spoilers, but anybody who's, you know, watched Terminator can probably figure out that you've been marked for termination, and this individual who's protecting you is probably someone from the future. But it's just so good, and it lines up so well with all the things I've always enjoyed about Terminator. It's fucking great. I don't know if any of my viewers have yet to play this game, but they're absolutely missing out on 
one of the best pieces of Terminator media I've ever enjoyed. I love this game. I can't recommend it enough. And if you haven't played it, you really need to. For any of you wondering, Terminator Resistance is on sale right now on the PlayStation Store. I'm not sure if it's on sale on the Xbox. I could check. But right now, for the weekend, it's on sale on the PlayStation Store. So if you're watching this video and you've yet to play this game, you can get it on sale and you can go through this awesome adventure. Now I understand that I have a tendency to really overhype games. So I'm gonna give you a few negatives from this title real quick. First and foremost, this is definitely a budget game. This is not AAA, but it doesn't have to be. It looks good, it plays good, and uh, I'm, obviously I'm completely overpowered, but, um, <laughs> and it's just, it's a lot of fun, but it is definitely a budget title. The other thing about it is, well, there's there's a few problems with the fact that none of the NPCs ever blink when they're talking to you. It can pull you out of the experience, and it's a little awkward, but you'll get used to it playing it. The, um, the only other thing that I really had an issue with was... Uh, oh, God. Sorry, I got distracted. It's, it's fun. It's really, really fun. Um, the only other thing I got distracted with was some of the... Oh, hell, I don't even know. It's a budget game. It's got a few hiccups here and there, but it plays really good. I can't even remember what my third problem was. I can't even remember. I really can't. I just, I enjoy the fuck out of this game. And if you haven't played it, you need to. Everything is exploding. What was my other issue? See, this is why, this is why I haven't recorded in so long. I'm rusty at it. <laughs> Anywho, anywho, back to back to talking about this. It's it's really a lot of fun. It's a great piece of Terminator media, and I can't recommend it enough. Uh, oh, oh, I just remembered. I just remembered. I just remembered what the third problem was with the game. The only other problem that I have, besides the fact that it is a budget title and it has a few little hiccups here and there, the only other problem is you will notice that it will repeat a few levels. Now, when I say it repeats levels. I don't mean that you're gonna you're gonna do one level and then do the level right after that, but there are gonna be moments where you return to sections of the game. There are gonna be moments where, like you say, you say you have an action bit where all you're doing is running and gunning through a level. Then, of course, later you'll return to that same level for a different mission. Let's say you are you're returning to the level so that you can uh, you can find you know codes or find information or destroy a piece of Skynet technology. If, if you get bothered by repeating levels, that might irritate you, but it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in a video game. But yeah, it'll, it'll repeat a few levels, but it doesn't do it, in my mind, egregiously, and there's always something unique to do within that level. But there's also a lot of one-off levels that you go through one time and never return to. But regardless, the game is so much fucking fun. I can't recommend it enough. I really, really hope that some of you that watch this video will decide to get it for its weekend sale or go out and buy a physical copy of it. I'm very happy to have the physical of Terminator Resistance Enhanced, but hot damn, this game is just good. I, I, I don't know what else to say, and I really mean it when I say that this game is hands down better than any Terminator movie that has come out after Judgment Day. Like, I have a real issue with a lot of the films and things that I enjoyed from the 90s being butchered by, you know, continuous sequels. Like, they have destroyed the Predator series. They have destroyed the Aliens franchise I don't know how many goddamn times. But Terminator, I think, has gotten it the worst because it's a time travel story. So, of course, you know, after Judgment Day, it's like, well, how can they do it again? Well, you know, there's all these different things they've tried doing, but... I just, I really love this game. It's a really good, in my mind, Terminator 3, whereas the actual Terminator 3 is hot garbage, and everything after Judgment Day fucking sucks. You can disagree, that's cool, I don't care, but this game trumps all of them. Absolutely trumps every single thing that Terminator has ever done after Judgment Day. It, it's not a super amazing AAA game, but it's fun. It's explorative, it's got great action, it's got great music that gets you fucking pumped, and it's a hell of a good time. I really can't help but recommend it. I, I hope that you guys will check it out, but goddamn do I love this game. I love it so much.
And I'm about to end the video because what I've been doing this entire sequence is near the very end of the game. And I have no intentions whatsoever of spoiling the ending. I just needed to make sure there was some action sequence to talk over while, while you know, I'm shooting big robots. So, of course, the, the, the last mission is what you're seeing. But don't worry. You're going to play through this and you're going to have a great time. You, I turned off subtitles. I turned the volume down real low. I don't think y'all can tell exactly what's going on except for the fucking, like, objective updates. But god damn, is this game good. And it literally, you literally fight up to the end of the war, and it's epic. It's absolutely epic. So I hope that some of you will check out this game. I hope you'll enjoy it. And thank you for watching. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded. I went through a real bout of depression for several months, and I was just completely fucked on making videos. I was completely fucked on doing much of anything. But if you are still subscribed to my channel and you still enjoy my content, all I ask is that you drop a like on this video. Leave me a comment. If you have played this fantastic game, let me know what you thought about it. If you're going to pick up this game, let me know what you thought about it. And I promise that I'm going to try to get back into the swing of making videos. It's just, it, for, for a few months there, it was just fucking difficult. I don't know if any, I, I know a few of my subscribers have depression, but it fucking drains you and you don't want to do a goddamn thing. But yeah. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. I hope that you check out this fantastic game. Give it some love. Buy it on multiple systems. If it's on Switch, I'll buy it again and play it again just because I love this damn game. It is one of the best budget games I've ever played, and it is a better Terminator 3 than anything else in the Terminator franchise. And you can take that to the, take that to the bank. I, I, I have no hyperbole about that. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.